now we, we, there is a difference between hybrid seeds and genetically modified uh, seeds. Uh, even though I'm not an agronomist, uh, the, there are three kinds of seeds. There are the open pollinated varieties, and then there are the hybrid seeds, and then now there is the genetically modified uh, products. Because the genetically modified products, one goes into the genetics uh, of that product and modifies it. So that, you know, for a certain trait, so that that product is either able to resist uh, a certain uh, uh, chemical or uh, be able to uh, be grown in certain conditions. But hybrid seeds are basically seeds that are bred, uh, selected uh, by breeders to be able to resist diseases, to be able to be high yielding. So you cross the open pollinated varieties and then you come up with the hybrid seeds. And then you know you are breeding for cert for certain traits. For example, high yield, disease tolerance, drought tolerance, and uh, that kind of uh, thing. So you are, you are basically improving uh, on the product. But uh, for genetically modified uh, products, you actually go into the genetics of that product itself and uh, change it, and either remove a trait or add a trait. Yes. What I would tell the young men and women out there, uh, agriculture is the way to go. Uh, as we said earlier, the population is growing, the land mass is not increasing, and this population has to be fed. Uh, so the market in agriculture is ever growing. And therefore, if one starts at the market and goes back to the farm, you cannot go wrong there is going to always be a market to be satisfied. And the most important thing is to make the first step. Do your research well, know what is uh, the gap in the market, and go back to the farm. And practice smart agriculture, uh, precision agriculture, and you will not go wrong. The space of agriculture is worth, even for investors, this is the space to also keep put your money. What I'd like to advise the young people uh, and other business people who are in, uh, in this country is that you are in the right place. But you have to be smart, you have to uh, get uh, hard, hardened because business is not for the faint-hearted. Uh, business is for the people who are willing to work hard because one has to work hard. Competition in Kenya is very, very stiff and there is no space that gives money that there is no competition. So if you see an, a space, whether it's agriculture or any other space where there's competition, that's where to be. You cannot run away because of competition. You just have to be smart, understand what you're doing, have a passion for it and keep working hard. Mm -hmm.